Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn how to download and install PyCharm on Windows machine. Now, PyCharm ID is very popular, it is for free, and this ID or PyCharm ID is very popular for Python development. And since we are doing Selenium with Python, we'll be using PyCharm ID as we have used Eclipse ID with uh, for Selenium with Java for Python will be using PyCharm. So in order to install PyCharm, simply go to google.com and we'll find the download. So we'll go to google.com and in order to install it, first we have to download it, right? So we'll say PyCharm download and search it and you will be getting this JetBrains website. So PyCharm is from the JetBrains uh, company and to download i'll simply go to the download pycharm and here you will see that pycharm is available in the professional and community edition now professional edition has more features it is for professional it for organizations who want more capabilities and functionalities community is for the community it is free and open source this community edition is more than enough for us to write our automation scripts design our framework it absolutely supports most of the, uh, development so we'll be going through the community edition prior to that if you want to have a look at the system requirements simply check the system requirements this is what of microsoft windows 10 or 8 if not then you might have to go to the older versions and see if you have a 32-bit you know version of it. so you might have to go to the older versions and see that you have of PyCharm that is supported. However, most of you would be having the latest version of Windows, so this should be good enough and check other information that is available. All right, so Python 2.7 or Python 3.5 or newer. So Python we have already installed on our machine. So now next step is, so we'll go ahead and click on download and it will start the download process. You will get this th uh, thank you for downloading PyCharm. If you want JetBrains, subscribe to the newsletter there. Uh, if not, then you can simply keep it as is. And you can see in the left hand side, the download has already started. All right. Now, as the download is going on, let's go to the developer tools and go to the PyCharm. And we'll walk through some of the key features that are supported in PyCharm or provided by the PyCharm. So you can see PyCharm is the Python ID for professional developers and it is full-fledged professional or free community, right? So we are using community edition, which has lots and lots of feature, which will be for us to go ahead and start our development, right? So you can see uh, it saves time to take care of the routine. For These are some of the key things that uh, they, they provide, some of the productivity features that they'll provide want to have a video tour of all, exactly what all they provide they will provide smart assistance uh, easy project navigations etc and you can write the neat code maintainable code etc so all that important features that you would need in any ide is all provided in pycharm so let this download finish and then once the download is finished we'll walk through the installation process of PyCharm. Okay, so now our download for the community edition has been completed. We'll go to the folder where it has downloaded. And in order to install it, it's very simple process. We simply have to double click on this exe file, right? So I double click on the exe file and open the installer. So the installer has launched and allow this app to make changes to your device. Yes, absolutely, we want to install it and it will click on next and this is the destination folder where this will get installed so if you want to have a look so this is in the c program files jetbrains pycharm community edition okay so if you don't want to install in this folder on the location what we can do is we can browse and we can go drive where we want to install so for example in the c drive uh, I will or let me create in the program file so I'll go to the program files and I'll create okay so select the program files and create a new folder and I'll say PyCharm okay and 
will select that particular engine. Yeah, so PyCharm is what I have created and I'll select the folder, click on OK to work. Let me select again. Looks like there is a problem with that. So what we'll do is we'll simply remove that, simply remove the, all of it and select. Or the other way is we'll directly go to that particular location. So we'll go to the C uh, program files and we'll select PyCharm. So this is where we want to install our PyCharm. So the path is not too long. And once I provide the location in the destination folder, I can click. So here you will see the installation option. So as you can see, create a desktop shortcut, whether you want to create the shortcut, yes, I will create it. And then whether you want to add open folder as project, I do not want to do that. And I want to create .py file. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to update the path variable so that when this PyCharm gets installed, the path, the system path automatically gets updated. All the folders and files get added to the system path so that I don't have to. So if you haven't watched the path or don't understand the relevance of the path variable or the system path, please watch the previous tutorial where I have explored the path variable. Okay. So I'll simply click on next and then here it will say start menu folder. So select the start menu folder in which you would like to create program shortcut. You can enter a name or create a new folder. Okay. So I'll just leave it as is JetBrains and so let the installation finish. Please be patient. So once your installation has completed, you will get this particular screen to ask you to reboot your computer so you can reboot now or you can reboot so i'll just keep it as i want to manually reboot later because i'm recording this particular video so i won't reboot it now but you can directly go ahead and reboot your computer and then follow the pr further process so i'll say it i want to manually reboot later and all right now once the installation is finished we will go ahead and understand the walkthrough of the next step right so you can go to the start menu and you will see the pycharm community edition is available there the edition and launch so here it will launch the privacy policy accept and confirm that you have read so go through the privacy policy accept and confirm the privacy policy and right so you can share the data so the products by sending anonymous data you can opt not to send so i'll keep icharm community edition has so let it launch and then we'll go through the configuration process so here you can see that we are on the pycharm portal now and i can create a new project open the existing project let's create the new project so to create a new project from this particular screen i can simply click on new project and provide the name of the project. In order to change the settings, we can go to the little cogwheel here, or customize is from here. So we want to customize the uh, some of the properties of the PyCharm. So we can change the color theme, the light theme or the dark theme. I want to work with the light theme, so I'll change it to the light theme. I want the font size to be a bit bigger and IDE font as well as the editor font so that it's clearly to you guys when I'm recording the video. So let me change it, right? And then, so in the plugins, I'll cover that later. And then you can learn more about the PyCharm. So plugins, marketplace is there where we'll go ahead and install multiple plugins that we'll need across. So that's about it. To create a project, we'll simply go to the new project and create a project. So now when we are creating the project in PyCharm, you will see the location of the project is by default, the default location that it has picked up. What we'll do is we won't use any of the default location. We will, so what we'll do is in the C drive or uh, yeah, in the C drive, let me create a folder where we'll keep all our code, right? So we'll say, we'll create new folder and i'll name it as python selenium okay so whatever work we'll be doing will folder so we'll this is our workspace so i'll change this location to c python selenium 
and then do not choose this new virtual environment so the concept of virtual environment very clearly so i'll post that link so you, so that you can watch virtual environment if you want to learn about the virtual environment in python but as of now we'll use the interpreter that we have installed so python version that we have installed we'll choose that so simply choose previously configured interpreter and in the drop down it should interpreter if not dot here and in the interpreter it should, sorry not here it mean in the system interpreter you will see that you will get program files python 3.9 and python exe if you have multiple version of python in the drop down you will see multiple versions of the, in that particular case you have to be very specific which interpreter you want to use my recommendation is that if you are having multiple versions of python on your machine do not have multiple versions if you are very new or a beginner try to stick to one version of python or the latest version of python so that you have that one interpreter there do not go to the virtual environment or any other environment simply go to the system interpreter and right so it will update the interpreter so you can see the interpreter now is configured with pycharm is python 3.9 which is at this particular right and while creating this particular project a folder and if you check this create a main.pi welcome script file that uh, script will be created in the project we create and now you can see it is preparing the workspace so if you want to go through the tips you can go of now and this is our pycharm and the main.py file which is script which has been created in python selenium folder here right so this is our first project python c python selenium folder all right which has the main file so this is how we'll install pycharm we'll create the project this is just to show you the installation process where you'll download it from and how you will create pycharm before we can actually start learning prior to installing pycharm make sure that you install python and then you come to pycharm and then next tutorial will move further and do a little bit of customization and then configure and install selenium so that's all for this tutorial Thank you very much for watching